Hey guys, today I'm here with Kira and her mate Hawthorne. I'm going to teach you how to hunt an elk on accurate difficulty. I know some people over on the Discord and the Facebook group were having trouble getting the elk quest down, so I decided to share some tips and tricks I learned while playing. This video will not go over the very basics of hunting, such as tracking and biting, so if you're totally new, please make sure to check out the Wolf Quest website or the official Wolf Quest tutorial within the game. Just a quick disclaimer before we begin, this is only based on my experience with the game. At the beginning of your journey, you won't have a mate, but hunting elk calves on your own and accurate is easy, with practice. Hawthorne doesn't help too much anyway. And lucky for us, there's an elk herd in the distance right here. First, some accurate mode philosophy. Better safe than sorry, because in accurate mode, life is much tougher. Be ready to turn tail and abandon the hunt the moment things go sour, or else you might be paying with your life. Elk herds have different reactions to your presence. Smaller herds are more likely to stay on their ground, while most larger herds run on sight. To scare a stubborn herd into running, Growl will encircle them. The closer the better, but remember to be careful. This herd already seems pretty spooked, so we don't need to do any of the circling. The next step is selecting your calf target. You want to find one with lower health, since you'll expend less energy and health trying to take down a weak one. Believe me, you'll need that health during the healing process, which takes much longer on the hardest difficulty. That calf's health is still pretty high, so let's find a different one. Now that we can see its health, this is the calf that we want to take down. But his mother certainly isn't going to let that happen. Not without a fight, at least. Now begins the most dangerous part of any hunt, the showdown. The mother is trying to protect her calf with her dangerous hooves, but the calf is inexperienced and afraid. If we circle and stay on it for long enough, it'll run away from its mother, giving us a good opportunity to deal some damage. When biting onto the calf, make sure to stay aware of your surroundings. The mother is very fast and can catch you off guard. Sometimes, after letting go of an animal, an animation will play that makes you immobile for a few precious seconds. I slowed down the clip to showcase it here. This is the perfect chance for the mother to give you a good thrashing, but thankfully I escaped. Always be aware of this animation, and leave room between yourself and the mother so you can escape in time if it does trigger. If you're unlucky and hold on for a bit too long, the mother can hit you up to 3 times for more than 100 plus damage each. Now that the cast health is getting low, I got a bit too cocky and the mother landed a blow for 141 damage. You can imagine how devastating that could be, especially if she manages to hit you three times.
We finally managed to bring down that calf, so let's fill up. Now that me and my mate are both full, let's have a howl of celebration. Hawthorne didn't seem too interested at first, but he actually saw something I didn't. There's two stranger wolves in the distance who are willing to take our kill. And finally, before I end the video, I have some extra tips to make your life on Accurate just a tiny bit easier. Are you tired of having stranger wolves, bears, cougars, coyotes stealing your kill? All you have to do is take chunks from the carcass until there's nothing left. This will guarantee food for at least a few days. On accurate mode, it takes many sleeps to fully heal up. But competing over a carcass is part of the fun, so I only recommend doing this if you're very injured and can't risk a fight. Hunting elk is only for healthy wolves. I recommend being above at least 75% health to kill your own elk. You just saw how much health hunting can take from you, so on accurate, scavenging is your best bet between hunts. If there's a grizzly bear at the carcass, don't mess with it. You can steal a chunk from the carcass of a cougar or coyote, and all you need is a growl to scare a fox away. Even better if the carcass is left unguarded. The life of an accurate wolf is harsh but rewarding. Amethyst Mountain never gives anything to you. In this mode, you truly have to earn it. I hope this video helped explain some important hunting tactics. And I hope I'll see you all when multiplayer comes out.